my beauties welcome back and if you guys are new here welcome to my channel and welcome to Brie Oween. so today we're going to be doing a full face of trying new makeup i'm going to be trying the new huda beauty palette i purchased um a nars found the nars foundation is not new it's been out for a while but it's new to me um yes yeah, so i got a few products that i want to try out in this video but here's the look that i came up with you guys so um, I just want to say the palette I really enjoyed the palette and I will leave everything down below in the description box that I use and stuff like that so yeah let's just jump into the video so today we're going to be trying out some new makeup I'm going to be trying out the new Huda Beauty empowered palette I'm going to be trying out those new brushes that I picked up from Amazon I'm finally about to try out this NARS soft matte complete foundation I'm going to try that out today I'm going to take this first shade right here this shade is called confident I'm going to take the brush that came from this brush um, set that I got from Amazon I will leave it linked down below and I did leave it linked in that um, in my recent haul but this is their tapered blender this is my first time like trying one of Huda Beauty's like bigger palettes I have her smaller palettes but we're just gonna take that color and I am tapping the color I'm just basically tapping and placing the color down first and then we're gonna go ahead and start blending with another color take the same brush but this one is clean I kind of don't want to do that because I just got these brushes and I don't want to get them all dirty so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get another brush but so far so good like that brush worked pretty well I'm gonna take this one this brush right here and I'm going to take the color legacy at the bottom it's like a warm brown color and I'm going to take the nose contour brush and I'm going to take that. Ooh, girl, it's pigmented. <laughs> I'm going to take that color and I'm going to put it on top of the color we just used. I'm going to place it down and then I'm going to start blending out those edges with the color. I'm just going to place it on top and start blending. And I'm just using another color to blend out the first color we use. That is totally optional. You can always just, I could have used that same brush or a clean brush and blend out those edges. But I wanted to add another color. So I just pop that on top and you see how it just blends that part out. Go back into that I didn't put nothing on this brush but I'm just blending out the middle portion just so everything can look blended so this brush is perfect to blend out those edges so I don't know what I want to use like I want to dive into these shimmers let me swatch it oh this one just feels wet look at that it looks wet this one is called limitless this one is called Charisma. Oh, what is this? Is that a pressed glitter? I don't know what that is. And this one is called Bold Move. <sighs> Give me a second. I'm going to go in with Bold, bold Moves. I'm going to do that. Um, I would definitely suggest to put down some, um, some NYX glitter glue because I just feel like this glitter is going to get everywhere. I 
Ooh, that color is pretty. And it's like cutting my crease really nicely. Like if you're lazy like me and you don't like whipping out the concealer and cutting your crease, these shadows, this shadow right here is like gliding through. It's really silky and smooth. It just feels wet. Oh, that is beautiful. That is a nice like shade to wear for like a wedding, like if you're a bride or something. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm just going to take the shade all the way through. I'm definitely going to be using this palette again because I want to try some more shades. Y'all, that is pretty. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. Like, I, it looked like I cut my crease. It looked like I cut my crease. It was this shadow and this brush. Oh, I didn't tell y'all the brush. This is called a firm shadow brush. Yeah, firm shadow. Once again, I will leave the link down below for this brush set. Okay, I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna go back in confident that I use in my crease. And I'm just gonna add it um, on top of that shade bold moves because um, I want to blend out that that edge so it won't be so harsh I'm gonna add some black I'm gonna have to dip into another palette because it has a black in here but it's a cream shadow and I really wish that she didn't do that like you could have gave us both <laughs> But I just want to smoke this out. And I'm going to take a little bit of that color and kind of put it up here. Just kind of bring some of that purple back in. So I'm going to dig into... Um, so I'm just going to dig into a random palette and use a black. I'm going to use this black in this um, Game of Thrones palette. And this is called Crow. <clears throat> well, the shade is called Crow. <laughs> and I'm gonna take um, this, what is this, a Morphe M562. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna smoke it out. I'm just gonna flick that black in. I'm gonna flick and swirl. <laughs> Just kind of smoke everything out, being very light-handed. Just gonna go back into that Empowered palette from Huda, and I'm gonna take a little bit more of that brown, just a little bit, and just kind of blend everything together. I just tap my brush in there once and just bring I'm just bringing a little bit more warmth back to this look this brush is perfect so if you have a angled fluffy brush like this perfect to blend out your edges that's the only thing that I can really say about this palette so far like it's pigmented as you guys can see but if you have like hooded eyes and stuff I totally even if you don't have hoodie eyes, I recommend to use a glitter glue. Use this Wet n Wild Impossible. I haven't used this in a long time. And I'm almost done with it, actually. So I might as well use it. It's pretty decent. Like, I will purchase it again. I think this set, yeah, has a foundation brush. This is the Deluxe Buffer. So let's try out this NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. Ooh, I'm excited, girl. I'm excited. Okay. I need a, I got a like foundation palette. I don't know where it's at. I think I, I feel like I have one, but I don't want to put it on the back of my hand because I got glitter. Put it on the back of this one. 
Oh, it already done came out. Okay, that should be enough, right? Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> this is my first time trying NARS um, foundation. First time. Oh, I'm right-handed. Oh, this is going to be a mess. Okay. Oh, come on, Jesus, help me. Let me just place the foundation on my... Hopefully it don't dry down quickly. Hopefully that's all I need. I'm trying to not to be so heavy, heavy handed with, you know, putting foundation on my face. All right, let's go. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys the color. It better be right, the color. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys in a minute. alright I think the color I got is Marquise I think I'm saying it right Marquise medium deep 5 that's the color that I get I might need to add just a tad bit more It is matte. It feels lightweight. Like it doesn't feel like anything is on my face. It kind of reminds me of Fenty a little bit. Oh, and the brush works really well. So that's good. I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown powder in Soft Honey. I'm gonna take my Fenty powder and let's use this brush. This is the Deluxe Powder Brush. This is the Sephora brush, 30 something dollars. Look, look, same probably amount of bristles. They're both fluffy, like the same height Sephora might be a tad like an inch taller like just as fluffy now this whole entire brush set was it was like $50 or something like that and like I said I had I had a um, gift card but yeah if you want to go more of an affordable route and you want this brush they have something similar so I'm gonna take it I can't wait to put some powder on here and I'm gonna dip it uh, look at it <laughs> Put it on my face. Oh, girl. And it feels good, like it's soft. I'm gonna take this brush from Do Care, and it's just like a small, like little smudger brush. And I'm gonna take the color Confident, that first color we use. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna smudge it under here. I'm gonna start from out the outer part is just gonna smudge it in just kind of smoke it smoke it out so I'm gonna try out these um, kiss lashes this is in the style ruffle I don't know why it took me so long to put my lashes on but they're on, they're pretty. I would have like a dr more dramatic lash, but it's okay. This one is irritated. I don't know if it's because of the glue that was on there. But it's kind of irritated, but we, we will move on. I'm taking the Ruby Kisses All Over Glow in Bronze Glow. Hopefully it do what it did the other day. Oh girl, first of all, I didn't put on no bronzer. Let's do that. <laughs> I'm going to be trying out the ColourPop bronzers. I haven't tried them out yet. 
um I'm trying to see what color i want to do it looks different in the camera let me see this one is a little darker but they don't swatch like as intense as they look in the pan but mm, let me see uh, let me i'm gonna go with i'm gonna do this one all right, I'm going to take this brush. This is the angled contour brush. And I'm going to use this shade Paradise City. And I'm just going to tap my brush in here. This is the Super Shock. This is their Super Shock formula. So it's not like a powder. I might be using the wrong brush. Oh, girl, I done dipped my mirror in here. Is it coming up, girl? I might need to use a different brush let me just add some over here I I'm so confused cuz <laughs> I never use their super shock formula I'm using a more denser brush. I don't see nothing. Okay. All right, let's move on to another bronzer. Because I honestly don't see anything. I don't know if it's because it's... I don't know if you guys have this let me know how you apply it what you use to apply it with um, but I thought maybe a more denser brush would bring it to life okay let's let's get another bronzer girl I'm just gonna take my hard candy bronzer that I always use that I've been using I mean I feel like I can see it but it's not maybe it's like a good base because that kind of like made that pop my bronzer that I just put down for blush I'm just going to take this um, Milani Coco Felicita I'm going to take that We may proceed with the um, with the highlighter. I'm gonna add a little mascara on these lashes because they're like I don't know if it's because the eye look is like very intense, but I can't. They're not giving. I mean, they're pretty. I just, I feel like I need a bolder lash, but that's it. Hey, you all. So this is the final look. I went ahead and did the rest of my face and my lips. Um, for my lips, I put on this Absolute New York Lip Plump High Shine Gloss. And this is in the color um, Nude. And it's basically like a milky um, clear gloss. Yeah. So that's what I end up putting on my lips. And that was my first time actually trying this. And I really like it. So the first product is the Huda Beauty Empowered Palette. And this is a beautiful palette, you guys. It's so pretty. It does retail for $67. Like I said, the Sephora sale is coming up. So just wait until the sale and go ahead and pick it up. Also, you got Black Friday to look forward to, um, Cyber Monday. So, if you're not in a rush to get this palette, you have the holidays is coming up. So, there are going to be so many sales in between sales. So, if you want to wait, just wait. I didn't have any problems with blending the colors. The color that is on my lid is gorgeous. Like I will say the colors that are in here, I don't know if those are like... So, those shades in here are like foiled, chrome, metallic 
um, textures so I recommend to wear glitter glue like NYX glitter glue put that down first then pat your um, color on because I do feel like if you have hooded eyes it's going to kind of overlap um, as you guys can see some of that glitter um, or the shadow itself is kind of like you know traveling all over the place color went on like butter like it literally felt like I was cutting my crease with some concealer but I was actually using the eyeshadow those like textured foil chrome colors like if I could come across colors like that all the time I will probably never whip out a concealer to cut my crease again and I'm trying to get back into like wearing shimmers on my lid I've been all about matte shades but this is gorgeous i really like it the eyelashes i do like i do feel like this look is so bold it kind of like overshadowed the lashes so the foundation i do like the foundation um the color looks all right i'm not planning on buying another one <laughs> so i'm just gonna have to you make this work but it looks pretty good those ColourPop super shock bronzers i didn't understand it i'm like am i using it wrong i use like two different i use three different brushes like i use one, another one off camera and I'm like what am I doing so it looks a dark in the pot I just didn't see it on my face but when I added the powder on top I felt like the powder popped a little bit more so if you guys have those super shock um, bronzers let me know how you use it do you um, I don't know do you use like a, a really sharp contour a contour brush this is a dense brush so I feel like it like really like put the I was digging so I mean I don't know but I keep trying those and if it works good as a base I'll just use it for that okay so I wanted to add something else to this look I wanted to add some of the gems to my look I have a gemstone picker I don't feel like getting it but Ooh, that's cute <laughs> I didn't want to put it on my mold my mold but I don't know if they're symmetrical or not they feel like it we gave it a little pop okay look Christmas look but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys comment down below give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later bye